Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video about Modular Colonization Systems mod or MKS for short. In the previous video we've taken a look at the basics of mining and resource processing and in today's video we will take an in-depth look at production chains. MKS is renowned for having a vastly complicated production chains and I hope that with the help of this video all of that will be made at least slightly simpler. So let's have a look. MKS introduces quite a large number of resources and to help us understand production chains a bit easier I categorize them in five different categories. Resources that can be mined directly will be marked as red, just as gypsum. Then you will have initially processed resources such as silicon that cannot be used directly but are used by other production plants. Next tier of resources processed even further will be marked in green such as supplies. Then you will have high-end goods, such as machinery, that will be marked in yellow. And the last type of resources introduced by MKS that I decided to call waste resources will be marked in brown. Moreover, production facilities capable of processing given resource into something else will be marked by this gear icon and will be listed inside. So, once we have that settled, let's dive in and see the first production chain. The first production chain that we will be talking about is the chain producing supplies, mainly because supplies are the first resource that you will need in your newly founded colony. To produce supplies using standard MKS high efficiency production chains, that is not agroponics, you will need to mine a couple of resources and uh, we start off with mining gypsum and minerals or ore to produce fertilizer. You can process gypsum and minerals into fertilizer in Tundra Agriculture Support Module in one of the material processing units or in Ranger Crashomatic Portable Extractor. And if you decide to produce fertilizer from stock ore, you can do it in the small Convertotron 125. Next step will be deciding whether you want to go with substrate or dirt farming and mine those resources. And the last thing that you will need is water. Water can be either mined directly if you're lucky or it can be extracted from hydrates or stock ore. Both hydrates and stock ore can be transformed into water in Tundra Agriculture Support Module. Once you have all those three resources, so fertilizer, water, dirt or substrate, you can start producing supplies in either of the Agriculture Module from Duna, Ranger or Tundra series. The waste resource from this chain is obviously mulch that your kerbals are producing by consuming supplies and you can use it to produce even more supplies in the agroponics chain. Next chain that we will discuss is all about producing organics and is in fact very similar to the chain we've just discussed producing supplies. There are just two small differences between the two and the base resources needed to produce organics are the same as for production of supplies. So you will obviously need fertilizer, water, substrate and dirt and you can process that into organics in either tundra or ranger agriculture module. So Duna agriculture module is not capable of organics production so you need to keep that in mind but if you go with any of the ranger or tundra series you will be easily able to switch your supplies chain into organics. The second difference that the organics chain has compared to supplies is that there is no dedicated waste resource. Overall both chains are pretty similar and you will be able to switch between the two in most cases without any trouble. Next chain that we will be discussing is the chain producing machinery and I promise this is the most complicated chain that we will be discussing today. Obviously machinery is one of the high-end goods introduced by MKS along with colony supplies which follows equally complicated path but once we have this one established actually colony supplies will be relatively easy to explain. So to start off to produce machinery you will need to mine all of the following resources metallic ore, substrate, minerals, rare metals, exotic minerals and silicates. In most cases you won't be able to mine all that in one location so you'll have multiple bases mining those but once you have mined metallic ore, substrate and minerals you can process them into respectively metals, chemicals and polymers in any of the three processing plants. Ranger Smeltomatic Portable Smelter, Material Processing Units, any of the three and Tundra Industrial Refinery. Rare metals and exotic minerals are processed in Tundra Industrial Refinery into refined exotics and silicates are processed into silicon in material processing units obviously one of the three and Tundra Industrial Refinery. At this stage we have metals, chemicals, polymers at one side of the chain and with that we can produce material kits in Ranger Inflatable Workshop, Tundra Mobile Workshop or Tundra Assembly Plant. 
Material kits are very useful because they allow you to build new base pieces on the surface of your destination body, so relatively close to your colony, provided you deliver a DIY kit with the ground construction mod that comes with MKS now. Refined exotics and silicon can be combined into specialized parts in Tundra assembly plant, and once you have both material kits and specialized parts, you can produce machinery, finally, and you can do it in either Ranger Inflatable Workshop, Tundra Mobile Workshop, or Tundra Assembly Plant. So as you can see, this chain is quite complicated and it's quite long and definitely cannot be executed in one base. You will be forced to have at least two bases or maybe three to actually be able to mine all of those resources. But as I said, this is one of the high-end goods introduced by MKS and once you have that, your colony will be really close to being self-sufficient. Second high-end good that will ensure your colony is fully sustainable is colony supplies. And to produce colony supplies you will need the same components as for machinery, so material kits and specialized parts, but you will also need organics and if you have all three you can combine them in Tundra assembly plant and make colony supplies. Once you have colony supplies and machinery your colony becomes fully self-sufficient, your equipment will never break and thanks to colony supplies you can make the life of your kerbals so bearable they will never want to return home. So, congratulations, you've made it. MKS also has two extra side chains that uh, are nevertheless quite useful. One is dedicated to nuclear fuel production that is produced from uraninite in Tundra nuclear fuel plant. This enriched uranium eventually will be used in your nuclear reactors, producing depleted fuel, one of its waste resources. And this depleted fuel can be again introduced into Tundra nuclear fuel plant that will create enriched uranium out of it, so it can be an almost closed cycle. Another side chain is dedicated to recyclables, and those recyclables are produced by all MKS plants that use machinery to operate. Those recyclables can be then broken down into metals, chemicals and polymers in Tundra recycling module, therefore allowing you to recuperate some of those initial resources put into making machinery. Last important facility that hasn't been mentioned so far are sifters, and sifters take in vast amounts of dirt and produce all of the other mineable resources. Therefore, if you just need a little bit of something that is not available in your current location, you can just put in dirt and uh, eventually some quantity of that resource will come out. So thank you very much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed and you've learned something from this video. And I do realize that it might have been slightly confusing, but I did my best to present it in the simplest way possible. If you have any questions or comments, please do write them down in the comment section below, I'll be happy to answer you. I would also like to thank Luke, Joe Laughlin, Sharax, Carl Roth and all my patrons on Patreon for their amazing and continuous support. I am really humbled and astonished by uh, your support guys, so thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching again, my name is Mark Frim and I will see you next time.